Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, what we're gonna talk about is the proper head movement in the downswing. See, what happens is a lot of golfers, they get to the top, okay, and then they move. Now watch my head. They move. They let their head follow this chest movement or this shoulder rotation and believe it or not, that's what causes you to get in front of the golf ball. It is an issue with pushing the ball out to the right because when you move like this, everything comes through and this club face is gonna be open, more or less, okay? So we need to think about it in a couple of different ways. And in some of the videos, guys, when I'm teaching, I'm trying to show you guys things, I get here and I'm moving and you can see my head move this way, but that is not the right way to do it. And it is absolutely not what Ben Hogan was doing. Ben Hogan would get set up He'd be like, okay, he's got his grip, he's got everything good, everything's, you know, right here. And then he, you know, at that last second, he tilts his head back, right? So when he goes there to the takeaway, then he goes to the top, he's staying in his posture, here comes the recenter move. Now your head has to stay here. And what I mean by that, look at this. There's the difference. So all of a sudden I'm like this because my head stayed here. Now I'm going to come through. My head is still there. Now I'm going to hit that ball square and then I'll come through and I'll stay in my, you know, spine angle. So the best way to think about this is when you're at the top of your swing, I want you to feel like your nose is pointing on the outside of your trail foot. Okay, so it's going to be like here. So imagine that. Here's where my nose would be, right? Over here. So it's pointing to the trail so uh, over at this angle um, to my trail foot. So if I get to the top and I go like this, now my nose, the second I go this way, my nose is in front of that trail foot. So when I get here and I start coming down and I make the transition, my nose is still pointing on the in the direction on the, you know, this side of the trail foot. Then when I'm coming down at this point, it still feels, I'm still looking at the ball, but my nose is pointing over here. And then I'm able to come in and stay behind it and hit the shot, okay? Now what's another way we can think about this is, okay, think about this logically for a second. A baseball player, same premise here, okay? A baseball player, when they step and then they come in to hit, look what just happened to my head. My shoulder is at this point at the top of where they're ready to hit a baseball, right? So then they step and they're coming through. But when they're coming through, look how this shoulder is leaving my chin. It's getting away from my head, but my head isn't following, okay? And that, your head following, believe it or not, when you get to the top and you're like, you move your head, look what happens, or you let your head follow the shoulder, look what happens to my body. I get in this, you know, this is gonna promote some over the top stuff. Even if you're coming in good and you're getting back and see how this, my head is following this shoulder, which is no good. So we have to have separation. So all of a sudden, we're at the top, come down, head's still there. Now when I'm coming this way, look at how much further this shoulder is separating from where my head's at, which allows, like what Mr. Hogan said, your head has to stay in one place. So everybody confuses that with, you can turn your head, you can, you can, they, they come up with all kinds of different things that it's not necessary to leave your head, that you can, I mean, leave your head still, you have to, you know, move it, your head's going to move and all these things, and it is, but we're talking about the downswing, because Mr. Hogan said, you know, the head's got to stay in one spot, which now, watch what happens, guys, I get here and I'm staying there, now it looks like everything's happening from the trail side because my head is still here. I come through it, I'd be more like that. So it'd be like I'm running the knee at the ball too. But look at how much my head is behind. Now I can come through and hit that shot. And that is one of the most important things. The head is extremely important. It has weight 
to your skull and to your brain. So there's additional weight that if I move it this way, look what happens to my body there. But if I go to the top, I leave my nose here, I leave my head there, and now my shoulders are going like this. They're working around my head versus my head moving and following. So hopefully that's going to help you. Give it a shot. I guarantee at first you're going to be like, wait a minute. Chris said, leave my head there. Oh my gosh, I'm not even looking at the golf ball. Well, I can leave my nose here and move my eyes to the ball. So it's like, aha, I see it coming through it. And then I'm going to explode and come through this shot. So give it a try. We'll look for you in the next video.